Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're doing a quick episode for a request of a guy who is looking for some, um, a little bit of a guide. Now, I think I've already done a guide on casting, um, but I want to reiterate it. Maybe I didn't do a very great job of describing it, um, but this is my tune that I've done casting on. Um, so, uh, I'll show you where his casting skill is. It's underneath the caution tree. So naturally, in order to get casting, we don't need to do all these things, but I would recommend getting all of these skills in addition to casting because you're going to need those items. So you don't need caution, you don't need escape, but I like both of these. Escape is not entirely necessary, but mineral trading, if you don't know where to get that, you're going to get it at one of your, um, you're going to get it at President Baldi in Lisbon or the Merchant GM in Tunis. Where is trading? You can pretty much get this. Um, this is the only place to get it, um, but that's where you can get it there in Amsterdam. Check with um, the guild masters in the um, trading, uh, uh, the merchant guilds, and you should be able to get most of these. Middle trading, same thing. You can get it in Venice or San Francisco, which I haven't unlocked yet myself. Um, or, last but not least, I should say, you're going to get casting, and you can get this in Venice. Um, again, not entirely sure that you need to go to these places, but if you don't know where to get them, that's where you get them. So that's the first thing. Make sure you get the casting skill. Um, and some of these things you're going to need. You're going to need wares trading and you're going to need mineral trading. Uh, and I would recommend being in the mineral trading job, which I don't believe I have right now. I'm a chandelier, which is fine. Um, it's a totally fine job to have because it has... Um, casting as a favorite skill so uh, it doesn't have mineral trading awareness trading so if you get the mineral trader recommended job you're going to get mineral trading skill bonuses for that so no uh, favorite skill for that so I chose the one that had casting because that's what I wanted to get started on immediately and I don't know how important that it is I mean you can get wares trading you can only get wares trading if you have mineral trading too so pretty easy to get uh, and metal trading well if you have wares trading three which we do so um, but anyway so to get casting leveled up so the first thing you're gonna need in order to do casting is you need some some books so the recommended thing I would recommend finding is the shipwrights basic books so where is that I still have it there it is shipwright basic casting book and it says casting skill rank one um, that means you can now do early level casting skills so if you open up the book you'll see that it can do up to level 5 casting uh, and that oh sorry let me see up to level 15 casting so it has up to 15 but you can do some of the early level casting which is making lumber uh, or sorry making carpentry tools from lumber and making spare rudders from lumber so you can get lumber in several places um, you don't need to um, do these only. There, this is just the place to start. So you're gonna need logs to make lumber, and you can get logs. Um, let's see. Sorry, you can get um, lumber. I'm sorry. You need lumber. You can get lumber in um, Manchester, Oslo, or Beirut. Um, I believe you can make lumber. I believe you can make lumber if you have the right book. So it's kind of the idea is that, say tools, there you go. So that's the other book that I would recommend getting. So if you didn't see that one, it is not the Shipwright Basic, but the Tools for Land Battle Casting book. Um, it's a very good book to have. Um, I don't remember where I got it from. Sh -sh -sh, let's find out. Tools for Land Battle. Where can we get this book? Oh, ten thousand invest, ten thousand investment. Jeez, ads on my phone here. Um, in Tunis, you may or may not need to invest ten uh, ten thousand gold into the um, uh, to the, the the city, but you will get this book in Tunis in the item shop. 
And then as for the other book, the Shipwright Basics Casting book. Let's see, Shipwright Basic. You can get this book in pretty much any major city, it looks like. You can get, okay, so you can get it in the Craftsman, at uh, the Craftsman, at the um, Plymouth, Dublin, Groningen, Antwerp, Porto, Madeira, Las Palmas, Malaga, Genoa, Pisa, and Syracuse. So that's where you can get the majority of those two books. Um, so, very important books to have. Easy thing to do, go get logs, which you can get logs. Where can you get logs? Let's see, logs. I think it's, I think it's in the Mediterranean somewhere. You can get logs in. There's ads everywhere. Las Palmas. Perfect, because then you can also get the other book that you need from Las Palmas, too. So, get those two books and go to Las Palmas and get those two books. Las Palmas is right here. It's Palma, not Las Palmas. Las Palmas is here. So, that's where you're going to go. And then, you're going to get your book. You're going to get the Tools for Land Rattle book. You're going to select this. And then in here, you select the logs, if you, or it should only show lo um, logs, and then it'll say, oh, how many do you want to use? You need some vigor, and then you produce X number of goods, and then you're going to do that until you hit level three, or two or three, you know, and you need to keep on working on um, making logs. So turn these logs into lumber, and then turn the lumber into carpentry tools or spare rudders. So spare do carpentry tools until you hit level two, and then do spare rudders until you hit level three. And then, what are you going to do at level three? That's the next question, right? What can you do at level three? And so level three, you can go back between these two books and see if there's any good level three options for you. There's going to be uh, making throwing knives. So you can then go get short swords, which I believe you can get in Lisbon. Lisbon. Lisbon, I believe. Now, again, I'm saying this because I'm a Spanish player. There are other routes that are easier to do, but being even if you're not Spanish or you're not Portuguese, this is a really easy um, pathway to get to level five. Because once you're level five, you're gonna it opens you up to so much more. So you're gonna make throwing knives from short swords in Lisbon, I believe, one of those Portugal cities. And then when you're done making your throwing knives uh, from them, you're gonna then do that till you're level five. Um, you could try making jute with gunpowder. Um, I don't think there's a good level four option. You don't have to do these things like that either. You could jump around. Yeah, there's no good level four. So you're going to keep doing it until you hit level five. Pretty simple. And then when you hit level five, you have a couple options for you. Now you could try some of these things. You can find where you can find black button gunpowder and oil and make incendiary bombs and other things like that. <clears throat> in this case, you can use level five. You can make saltpeter and gunpowder to make smoking balls. But like this is not the best way to do it. There's a lot easier method. So next, you're going to find the metal smelting book and the alloy smelting book. Now, alloy smelting book is next, but the metal smelting book is the next major thing you're going to need because here's your level five and level six making. And this is like your core book that you'll be using from this point forward. Now, to get the metal smelting book, <clears throat> Just so you don't know where that is. The metal smelting book you can find in Lubeck. So you're going to have to sail to the Northern Europe to find that book, um, the metal smelting book. So in case you don't know where Lubeck is, if you're not from the Northern regions, Lubeck is... Oh geez, I don't. That's Oslo. Switch my other tune. Seems just riding around in circles over here. Um, 
Lubeck is right here. So I probably picked up the book with this tune and brought him down to him. So that's probably what I did. If I didn't do that, maybe I found it some other place. But Lubeck seems to be the place to get it. You get it from the shopkeeper in Lubeck. And in Lubeck and some of these other major cities, there's a lot of places to, to get the... Um, the um, uh, the metals you need for that, but once you get the metal smelting book and the alloy smelting book, find out where we can get that. The alloy smelting book after investment. So if you can't get these books from the um, people that you need to get them from you sometimes need to invest this one is particularly important to invest you have to invest 300,000 in Dublin um, so go to Dublin invest and then you might have to bring some request investment books or travel from to another town and then come back and then do another investment and do investments so you hit 300,000 targets in investments and then they'll just give you the book I'm pretty sure that's how this will work so that's what you're gonna do until you until you have them both and then, once you have them both, you're going to sail all the way back down to Barcelona, Spain. Now you're going, I was just all the way up in Lubeck. Why am I going back down here? Well, it's because I really particularly like this. This is a really fast grind. So you're going to come to Barcelona, Spain. That's where I am right now. And you're going to buy all of their lead ore. All of it. Now, if you have mineral or ore um, uh, skill, you'll be able to get more. But you're going to buy it all. Okay, and then you're going to convert it all to lead. So we're going to get our metal smelting book. And there's lead, level 5. Turn lead into le lead or into lead. And obviously, it's going to require a little bit of food to do so. So there's a tavern right here. And that's what I'm going to do real quick. stock up on my vigor so this is something that you guys should do and then we'll go back to our book now I have it on my quick tabs over here metal smelting book do lead and convert it and you're gonna then do that and then you're gonna go okay well great what do I do with this lead well just sell it right back to the vendor because you can't do anything with it just yet plus it's not that important for what you're going to be doing because the alloy book you can't use yet and lead is not on there as an option it's the ores that are up there so you're gonna sell it back you'll get a profit for it nope can't angle okay and then you're gonna sail from Barcelona down to Tunis or sorry Algiers I said Tunis is over here down to Algiers and then over there they have iron ore you're gonna pick up iron ore do the same thing, use the book, convert it over to iron, um, and then sell it back to Algiers, or you can bring it back to Barcelona, sell it to Barcelona, it doesn't matter. But you're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until you level up significantly. So, then you may be saying, alright, well I've done that, how long do I need to do that for? Well, you do that till you're level 6, and then you could do iron and graphite to make steel, if you can find graphite. Or, you can get another book. And so, in this case, I have weapon manufacturing techniques. And here you can find iron and steel to make other things. And this is great because Barcelona has steel. So right here is steel. Okay, they also have brass, which is great. So you're gonna always going to be converting lead, and lead into lead and then or uh, iron into iron. Um, and then sell the lead off and save your iron to combine with the steel in this manufacturer's weapon manufacturer's books until you can get past level five then you're level six you could do single-handed swords and then when you're done with those you can move on to you could if you really want to do you can get lumber or make lumber and make longbows or you can make sham shears and then I'd like to make two-handed swords at some point because you're going to make a lot more iron than you will of buying steel, so this is a good 2 to 1 ratio to do that until you're level 9 to level 10. 
And then, once you're level 9 to level 10, you can continue to do this till you're level 11, or you can go get yourself an item that boosts your casting skill, which I think I have a few items that do that. Like the bronze gear and a few others. See, this one increases metal trading, which is great for buying the metals. Um, but you can also get the bronze gear. You can get, um, I believe there's a shipwright's hammer that does something similar, or does that do cast? It may or may not do casting. I'm not sure. But you're going to get something that boosts casting, whatever you got to do. Because so, then you're going to make from the weapons manufacturer techniques, you're going to make European armor, which you can get brass also right here in Barcelona. So you can see that this is a great spot to go back and forth between Algiers and Barcelona because you get everything you need to make this entire book and make European armor. And you can sell the European armor back. You could potentially sell it to people who need it for going to um, East Asia for um, doing uh, Nanban because European armor is great for that. Now you may be wondering, where do I get this book? Because I told you where to get the other books. Weapon Manufacturing Techniques. So, Weapon Manufacturing Techniques is found after investing a little bit, not much, in Barcelona. I how about that. So, you're going to do that while you're doing the iron ore and the lead ore thing. You're going to keep on investing into Barcelona until you receive. You need 500000 invested in Barcelona to get it. Or if you're in the northern region, you're going to invest 500000 in Groningen. And that's what will get you the um, uh, the book. And this book is going to give you pretty much everything you need. And then the other questions is, are like, well, what are all these other books you have? This is for fishing. What are all these other books? Well, they've got firearms technique. We've got extra making extra metal armoring, casting cannon, cannon casting medium, cannon casting large, normal cannon enhancement. So all these things are different casting books that you could do once you hit the higher level casting levels. You can use cannon shot, bronze, and iron, and these massive amounts to make 16 mortars. So these are the things in which that people like to do late game to make, say, carronades, which are a great uh, cannon. Um, normally people want cannons that are 16s, like rapid fire 16s, like right here. People like rapid fire 16s because um, they're good for grinding cannon uh, skills because they fire rapidly. So this is one you could make next once you reach level 12 if you want to try to sell these with an alt or sell these with a um, an aid. You could sell rapid fire 16s for several million each, I believe. So I can make rapid fire 14s too, but 16s are the way to go. So now you know the basic grinding skill that I do. You could follow different options. It's totally up to you. Um, uh, you can do some of this up in Northern uh, Europe as well. You don't have to do it here. But this is just the place that I found it to be easiest. Um, so, and look, here's cannon shot right here. So you can do cannon shot and iron and... Um, just need to go make bronze or get bronze from someplace. So, actually, can you make bronze? If you have the ally book, you can make bronze. Yeah, from copper and tin ore, which is not anywhere here, but that is something you could do. So, you guys, hopefully this was helpful and you learned some of the basics. Um, one gentleman reached out and wanted to know how to do casting. Um, and this is my grinding nature for casting. And it happens so quickly, especially if you're in one of these 300 percent boost weekends that we're dealing with right now, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and while I'm doing this, I am going to start working on the next um, batch of European armor because this is a good time to grind the skill. Um, right now, if that's something that you are, um, you know, working on, it's a good, this is a good time to grind skills. So let's get our get ourselves on our way here. Let's auto nav to Algiers. And so this is what I do back and forth. Grinding his casting skill while he sails. We switch tunes. So uh, hopefully this episode was helpful to that gentleman who asked. I did do a casting episode. I believe most of the information in that casting episode is going to be the same here. Um, so not different by very much if at all. Um, so hopefully very helpful.
Um, well, then everybody, thanks for watching. Um, it's been great, and uh, we'll check in soon and maybe do another episode today if I get a chance. Is there anything noteworthy to check in on? Take care, everyone. It's been great. It's Chuck Thunder, signing out.